The nitrogenous bases that make up the complementary base pairing in DNA can be separated into two distinct chemical groups. The first are the purines, and this includes adenine and guanine. The purines are made up of two rings of atoms, so in a diagram of DNA, you find that these bases are distinctly wider than the other bases. The second group are the pyrimidines. These include cytosine and thymine. Because these chemicals are only made up of one ring of atoms, you can see in a diagram of DNA that they are not as wide as the purines. This is significant because in complementary base pairing, you always have one purine pairing with one pyrimidine. So guanine with cytosine or adenine with thymine. And because you always get a purine with a pyrimidine, this means that the complementary pairs are of equal width. This equal width helps to stabilize the DNA structure as a whole.